What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, and welcome all the extra like 140 of you guys. <laughs> Last time that we uh, uploaded, I think we were at maybe like 20 subscribers, which is pretty insane. So I want to start off by saying I apologize. Um, on the last video, I said that we're going to be much more consistent. Well, right after I said that, uh, maybe like a week later, my sister-in-law uh, was uh, moving and leaving the country. And she ended up moving everything in her house into our garage. So like it was like jam packed. You couldn't even get into the garage. So finally moved all the stuff out so now we'll be much more consistent um obviously i'm in a different environment today or right now uh we're actually i'm actually on the way to meet hunter at his house because we got some new wheels for the cart uh which is pretty exciting so it's not like we've like been 100 percent neglecting the cart we've been like researching parts and everything like that which we do have some stuff on the way but we did find some perfect uh rims uh, for the car or tires or, or wheels for the uh, for the cart so um, he's got to remount some tires so I got some tires for him so I'm gonna meet him at his house we're gonna grab the uh, the wheels and everything go to the shop and have the mountain bounce so let's get that done Alright guys, so we're finally leaving Hunter's house. Uh, he's driving the car over to meet me at my house. Um, so basically what had happened was he, uh, we got the new wheels and tires. They're right here behind me as you can see. Um, ironic enough, one of his tires had blown. So he put the old wheels, the new wheels on his car until we could get new tires installed on his old rim. So, so we just did that. We're on our way back. We're gonna go. We're gonna be installing these wheels and um, gonna be setting up the table. We're gonna be doing some some pipe work finally. So, all right, guys. So finally made it back to the garage. Uh, Hunter actually had to dip out. He had some stuff come up. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install the new wheels on the V on the Civic. Um, we'll go ahead and show you guys what we're working with. So these are new ones. Um, they are actually in really good condition. I mean, we got some, it looks like some peeling and everything, which is something really easy that we can fix. Uh, we're going to end up painting them anyway. Um, and we have no idea what we're going to do what, as far as the color of the car. So it's actually really cool. We can actually paint this, uh, we can coordinate this with the car and then paint these black. Uh, but so far we're just leaning toward painting the whole thing black, but we can always change that. Got some decent, uh, meat on the tires, which is always good. So pretty excited to get rid of these. They don't look too bad, uh, but we do want a wider setup because, uh, again, this thing is very, very light, so we need some weight in the back. Um, you guys are probably wondering what happened to the hoop. Well, uh, Hunter actually took it out for a road test the other day, and as you guys saw in the video, I only tack welded the hoop in. It was not fully secure. Uh, he went ahead and hit his foot on the brake, and he the hoop came up and just it folded right down and hit him in the back of the head. So he was really, really not happy about that. I actually have the clip. I have the footage of him doing that. Uh, you can take a look right here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the damn hoop fell out of him. Good? Yeah, that fucking hurt. Are they no leaks. We're good. So as you can see, I didn't really catch the moment that it fell and hit him in the back of the head, but I hit like I got like maybe a few seconds right after it hit him. So he was not happy about that. But uh, so we got a new jack. Um, just got back from Harbor Freight, so we got the new jack. So I'm gonna go ahead and jack this thing up and let's install the new wheels.
not too bad. Again, they're a little bit wider than the other ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it around over here and do the other side. So let's get it done. too bad again they're a little bit wider than the other ones but not too too much wider but not too bad it was a really really good deal too good of a deal for us to pass up so we went ahead and snagged them so i think it looks good um not a huge fan of the color red uh but i don't know don't look too bad with the chrome all right guys it is the next day and uh, unfortunately, Hunter couldn't be here with me today. Uh, he had some stuff come up, so kid's been really, really busy. So uh, I did want to make a little bit of progress on the cart today. I did want to uh, get that hoop in. As I mentioned, uh, it did fall out because we did just tack weld it. We didn't put it in completely. So um, the objective for right now is to remove this one right here um, and clean it up really, really well. And then I went ahead and removed this one already. This is the original plan that we had was to set it down right here, but as you can see, there's a bunch of, it's not really, really level. So what I'm gonna do is actually cut a square right here like this. Um, that way it fits in there perfect. So I'm gonna clean this up, go ahead and cut a square from the uh, base plates that I got and then weld it in there so that I can uh, get a good base for the hoop. So let's go ahead and get started. So, this is what I was talking about. So this will go right here. I'll go ahead and weld that in, because it holds a lot better. I can, it makes a better contact on it. So I'm gonna cut one more of these, and um, we're gonna get that one off right here, uh, and then weld these two in. So, let's do it. I just came back to this method because it was like much easier so Ugh. and that other thing was getting a little sketchy so Ooh, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot. all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get this crappy piece up I'm gonna go ahead and grind all that out and get that out uh, and smooth this um, 
smooth the body of it out. I had to put it on the jack and hit it with the hammer from underneath to get it nice and level over there. So it's looking good right there. So I gotta do the same thing on this side. So you can see it's, uh, I hit it pretty hard, but all right, let's go ahead and do it. So these are nice and flush, um, so I can get an actual decent weld on it whenever I put it in there. Uh, because previously, before I hit it, um, it was like really, really down right here, so it would just stick up right here and stick up right here. So uh, now I can actually get some full contact on it when I press it down and weld it in. So let's go ahead and weld them in. Alright guys, so here's uh, the finished product. You can see my crappy welds. Again, we're using flux core um, for welding. So you can see, let me move in the light. You see there's a lot of little bleed, uh, little beads and everything like that. That'll, I can very easily uh, just grind those off. So, not too bad. So what I'm gonna do now is put the hoop in uh, and give, that a, give those a few tap welds. That way I can start measuring out the other stuff so I can make the cuts for the um, pieces that go right here. As a matter of fact, I should go ahead and weld those in, but I did want to clean up down here first because you don't want rust or anything like that in underneath or anything uh, underneath these because it can spread. So I know this is just surface rust, but still I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I don't want to take the risk, so. There we have it guys, uh, my crappy welds uh, paid off a little bit. So, um, hoops in so that I can mock up everything. I'm gonna go ahead and weld this one in. Um, that one is already welded in. So, again, this one's gonna be, it's gonna have a pipe coming from here to here, right here on the, on the brake. And then uh, I'll be able to make this one over here and have the hoop or the pipe come from the middle of that pipe up to here in the top. So again, I'm just mocking everything up. I will tack weld everything in. And then once we get the welder out here, we'll take everything apart and just clean it really, really good and have it professionally welded in. So as far as the doors go, um, I actually 3D modeled um, what we kind of want it to look like. I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys right now. want to come out like this and then come in not like way out here you know not like crazy out here but uh, I definitely want to come out a little bit so that it looks a little bit wider from the back um, yeah just 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 kind of angled out like this and then back in same thing on the opposite side so I think that's gonna look really really nice so fitment's pretty good 
not too, too bad. And that way you can see a little bit better. So we do have spaces on here. So the wheels do stick out a little bit more than they would, um, which is nice. Eventually I want to go bigger anyway. Again, this thing's got no weight. I can pretty much lift it up right now. Um, and we need a little bit of weight in it. So I'd imagine with the seats and everything in, um, we should add a little bit more weight to it. That way we can actually get some traction because traction is pretty much just going to be from the wheels um, and nothing else. I mean, other than, you know, me and Hunter sitting inside it, but all right.